guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel my name is dami in case you're new you're welcome to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make a pencil skirt pattern it's going to be very quick easy and straightforward i promise you guys that so sit back and relax and enjoy the video and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet make sure you use the red button below to subscribe and put on your notification bell because every week i share videos like this so you don't want to miss anything on my channel and before i proceed to the work table i'm shouting out to my colleague a friend mom that sews is the name of our channel she also does sewing tutorials if you want to learn anything on draping wedding dress making she does prom dresses evening gowns children dresses name it just go to our channel you are going to find amazing videos in that channel i'm going to provide a link to our channel in the description box so go ahead and check her out and i promise you won't regret it so without further ado let's jump right into this video so i have went ahead and drew an horizontal line here which is going to serve as my waistline and i also have a vertical line here that is just going to serve as a starting point so the first thing I'm going to do now is to take my waist to hip measurement. So I'm going to take my waist to hip measurement and draw out an horizontal line as well, which is going to be my um, hip line. Okay, so the waist to hip measurement that I'm working with in this uh, project is 10.5 so I mark it like so and I'm also going to mark it here so that I can square out the line okay so I'm just going to draw that into a straight line and I'm going to name that as my hip line okay so the next thing I'm going to do is to uh mark out my skirt length so i'm taking my waist to wherever you want your skirt to you know how long you want it to be i want mine to be 26 inches so i'm marking it like this and i'm also marking it here so that i can connect into a straight horizontal line as well and that's going to be my skirt length line okay or the hemline Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is to impute my waist circumference. So the waist circumference divided by 4, whatever you get, you are going to measure it on this line. So for me, I have 9 and half. So I mark 9 and half, then I'm going to be adding 1 inch for the dart. Alright, okay. So the next thing, I'm going to my hip, hip circumference divided by 4. So I'm just placing whatever I have straight on the hip line. I'm not adding any dart allowance because the dart does not get to the hip, obviously. So yeah, that's my hip circumference divided by 4. So whatever you have on that hip line, you are going to be subtracting 1 inch from it. You can take out 1.5 inch or 2 inches depending on how pencil you want your skirt to be. So whatever you have, you should mark it on that hemline. And once that is done, you should go ahead and connect that together with a curve. All right. And once that is done, we are going to be marking a, a dart. So you need your nipple to nipple measurement divided by two. Whatever you get, you are going to mark it on your waistline. So mine is eight. I divided eight by two to give me four and I marked it. And next, I'm going to be taking my dart length. So I'm just placing my ruler to make sure that that line is straight so i'm going to be measuring four inches to be my dart length so for the dart of the front is usually about four inches long so i'm just drawing that line like so and on my waistline so i'm just showing you to see that i have four inches as a length so on my waistline i'm going to be taking half inch both sides of that line like so and i'm going to be connecting that together to form my dart okay and once that is done on your side seam you are going to be coming up by 
three quarter of an inch like this and then i'm going to be extending that side seam line upward to meet that point just like that and from this point now i'm going to be connecting to my waist point here with a curve so at first i went ahead and connected with a straight line okay and after that is done i took my curve driller and then i just made the curve like i want because it's not meant to be straight totally okay and once you're done doing that you should add seam allowance all around your pattern if you want to if you like you may not add the seam allowance on this pattern but for me i'm going to be adding half inch seam allowance around and at the m line i'm going to be adding two inches you can make it one inch or one and a half if you want so at this point i was at the middle of adding my half inch seam allowance around and then i decided to just trace out this pattern first for my back panel before i proceed to finish adding the seam allowance so i'm going to be tracing out this shape that i'm indicating like this so i'm tracing out that waistline straight and i'm tracing out the rest of the shape okay so i'm tracing out this the straight waist line not the curved one the straight one and then i will trace out the rest of the shape as well and then after that is done add your seam allowance and cut so i added half inch seam allowance all around the pattern but at the hemline i added two inches so then i cut out my front panel okay so now i'm just indicating here to remind me later that i'm going to be cutting this part on fold of course i had no seam allowance on this part because i'm going to be cutting it on fold so now i'm just bringing in my front panel and the back panel that i've traced to show you what i traced out i traced out the exact shape except that i'm yet to add the seam allowance when i traced it out and i have here a zipper allowance that i've added to the back panel and it's two inches okay so here is my dotted waistline because it's not going to be my permanent waistline that's why i just have it dotted out at this point so the very first thing i'm going to be doing to this back panel is to put in my dart length and i'm making use of five and a half inches because the back that is usually longer than the front so i'm using five and a half inches this is a standard so on the waistline i'm going to be taking half inch on both sides for that that and i'm going to be connecting that just like we did for the front and once that is done we are moving to a side seam area and we are going to be coming up by three quarter of an inch just like we did for the front this is a very simple uh, pattern tutorial so i'm going to be coming up by three quarter of an inch and i'm going to be extending that side seam to meet up with that point okay so go ahead and extend that line to meet up with the point like so and on this line here okay this one not the second one of the zipper allowance okay if it's confusing you can go ahead and fold in your zipper allowance in just hide it so that it doesn't confuse you so on this point now i'm going to be going down by half of an inch okay so that's the difference from the front panel for for the front panel we did not go down or up at this point so now i'm going to be connecting to that point of half an inch that i just went down with if that makes sense okay so i'm just connecting with my curved ruler like so all right and then you can go ahead and add your half inch seam allowance just like i did to the front i'm adding my half inch seam allowance around and two inches at the hemline and once you're done connecting all of that just go ahead and cut out your back panel so I'm just revealing my zipper allowance and I'm going to be extending this line to touch up with my zipper allowance so they don't feel left out. <laughs> you shouldn't make your zipper allowance feel left out. So connect them together like that. Go ahead and cut out your beautiful curvy pencil sketch shape. Okay. So here is what the back panel looks like and i have my front panel as well 
all right so if you guys want to see a video on how to make something with this pattern let me know in the comment section so that i can try to make something with this pattern i've tested out this pattern and everything is perfect so yeah it's tested and trusted already <laughs> but i i still need to make something that you guys can see right if you're interested in seeing anything just let me know so i'm just writing the front indicating the front you are going to be needing to cut two pieces of each obviously and yeah that brings us to the end of this tutorial guys i hope you guys enjoy it remember to give me a thumbs up and let me know your thoughts in the comment section and i hope to see you guys again in my next video bye bye